Hi there, in this video we will extend our analysis from partial to general market equilibrium and we will consider two goods instead of one good. And this will be a numerical example, we can also do it symbolically, but this will be a numerical solution. We are considering that there is supply, demand supply function set and in this set now we have uh, good 1 and good 2. So for good 1 we have demand function and for good 2 we also have a demand function. For good 1 we have supply function and for good 2 we have a supply function. And equilibrium for good 1 will be the equation of QD1 and QDS and the equilibrium will happen for the good 2 when the demand for it and the supply of it will be equal. So you see uh, a very intuitive uh, set of the functions is given. Previously we had only one set of uh, equations but now we have two sets of equations. It also increases the number of unknowns and you can see that P1 is here and P2 is also here. Q1, QD1 is here then QD2 is there. QS1 is here and QS2 is also there. So we have a greater number of variables. So the logical way is to systematically get rid of the unnecessary variables and you will see that we will develop um, a sequence of equations to cancel out the unnecessary variables to find out the unknown values. But before we go there, a uh, signal is there in this equation that is in this demand equation as well as in this demand equation that the price of the other good that is P2 is also there for the first good and it has a positive sign. So it means that if the other good gets expensive, the demand for the first good will increase. It shows that this second good is a substitute to the first good. Here again we can already see that uh, P1 has been included in the equation of the demand for the good 2 and it has a positive sign. So it means that if the price of the first good increases, the demand for the second good will increase and that can happen once if we know that it is a substitute. So here we have two goods, good 1 and good 2 and they are substitutes to each other. If the signs were negative here and here that is the signs of the other goods price then it would have been complements. Now coming back to the solution process primarily when we will equate the two uh, equations for both of the goods we will get these two equations that is for good one QD1 is equal to QD QS1 and then we will solve this. And once we solve this, we get this simplified version of the equation. In the same way, for good 2, we will have QD2 and QS2. You can pause the video and see if the correct narration is there for these equations. And then we can simplify these uh, uh, expressions. And finally, we will get fine to this equation which is in terms of P1 and P2. The other equation is also in terms of P1 and P2. So the situation is that for good 1 we have an equation in terms of P1 and P2 and for good 2 again we have an equation in terms of P1 and P2. So these now become the next couple of simultaneous equations and we can easily solve them. Here uh, they have been solved, you can pause the video and use any method of simultaneously solving the equations either by cancelling out or substituting, you can use any of the methods. So P1 and P2 now have been uh, found and now we can call them P1 a status and P2 a status. Once we have the prices at equilibrium, we should also try to find out the outputs at equilibrium. Here the values are found. For Q1 status, we have used QS1. Simply by putting the value of P1 status, we will get the value of Q1 status. 
and for Q2 establish the other equilibrium output uh, that is the equilibrium output of good 2 we will use the supply function of good 2 and here in place of P2 we will substitute P2 asterisk this is the result that is 85 by 7 so this is the equilibrium output of good 2 and this was the equilibrium output of good 1 now we can write them in a solution set form P1 asterisk and Q1 asterisk these are the values and P2 asterisk and Q2 asterisk these are the other values so in this way we have found the equilibrium values in a market where we are dealing with two goods so this is known as the general equilibrium these were the steps that we conducted to find out the equilibrium values of the prices and the quantities for good one and good two respectively